Today's episode will include Senior Students, Words of Wisdom, Summer Tech Update, Fifth Grade Crossing Over to Middle School, New Elementary School Elective Program, Physics Christmas Party, Mr. Hewitt's Retirement, Spring Athletic Standings, and Secondary School Announcements. Thanks for tuning in to BNC TV, the best source for Bulldog News. Hi, and welcome to our final episode of the school year. I'm Jacob Bertram, and this is episode 16. Congratulations to the class of 2018. We wish each of you great success in your future endeavors. Here's some words of wisdom for our underclassmen from a few of our graduating seniors. I would tell them, um, be involved, do your homework, and just enjoy every minute of it because it seriously goes by so fast. Words of wisdom from a senior, I would say live in the moment, get involved with absolutely everything you can, and just have fun. And everything you do, do it to the best of your ability. Uh, for words of wisdom from me, for being in high school, I'd say stay involved in as much as you can and uh, pursue what makes you happy, and that should give you success in life. Don't procrastinate. Success is not given to you. Success is earned through hard work, sweat, blood, and tears. Every once in a while you fall off the train, but you need to hop back on and keep working, working, working. And after that, then you'll become successful. And after you become successful, strive to become even more successful. There's no limit to how far you can go. Here's a tech update from Mr. Grace with some of the important summer Chromebook reminders. Hi students, uh, this summer you're bringing your Chromebook home and hopefully you'll be well behaved with it. Uh, as you know, a couple of things we want to point out. Be careful with it when you're moving it around. Keep it on a safe place, meaning not on your bedroom floor. You don't want to step on it. Uh, when we talk about charging it during the summer, what we mean by that is it'd be good if you charge it once or twice in the summer. Don't just go home and let it sit and never plug it in for three months. That's the last thing we want you to do. So even if you're not using it, plug it in once in a while just so it keeps the, the battery moving and keeps the battery working. A couple other things, if you need help this summer with your Chromebook, feel free to email us. Uh, that's probably the easiest way. And we do have some dates set up, um, and they're on our website, the one to oneisd741.org website that you can get to from the school website also to get more information on when those dates are exactly. Also, as you know, the filtering stays the same with it, so uh, please behave with that. We don't want to have any issues, and we don't want to have to call any students over the summer because of those issues. So be on your best behavior, be responsible. That's why you're able to bring them home, because you've had a great year so far. So let's keep that going. So thank you, and have a wonderful summer, everybody. See you next year. On Friday, May 11th, the entire fifth grade class visited the middle school to see what's in store for them starting next fall. Are you guys nervous about coming over to this building? Yeah, I Food. good. What are you most excited for? Elementary school recently launched a new elective class program. Here is Mr. Orline with more. Well, we have a new elective program for our students in K through 5, and what we are doing is we're giving students an opportunity to have a choice in some of their programming. Well, right now we have a number of, of teachers who are, who are offering classes in a, in a wide variety of um, topics, and we want to provide opportunities that are lifelong and so we have um, some computer classes we have some um, where classes where they're learning about activities such as cribbage and and chess um, we have a, a a friendship class where they learn about what it means to be a good friend and what it means to be accepting um, and we, in, the, in the lower grades, we have some of our sciences where they're learning about dinosaurs um, and just different fun topics that they're interested with that. When next year starts, we, we want to we try to devise a schedule where we can do this program twice a year. So we would have a, a session in the fall and a session in the spring. And our goal would be to expand the number of classes that are offered and hopefully um, maybe bring in some community members who are, who are passionate about something and, and would be interested in passing that on to our students. 
Um, and we're just, what we're going to continue to do is create a, a master list of all the ideas of classes that could be offered. And then we may, in the fall, we might offer a set of classes that is different than what is offered in the spring. But we just want to um, keep creating that class list as it goes on. I, it, for me, it was a great opportunity to um, be in front of students again in a classroom setting. And so I, I taught a baseball statistics class. And part of that, we made uh, baseball cards and they had to put their stats on there. And, and so we, and then we were able to uh, order those cards. And so it'll be like a real baseball card for them. Congratulations to Mr. Hewitt on his upcoming June 30th retirement. We appreciate all you have done for us students these past six years. Thank you, Mr. Hewitt, for everything that you have done for our school district. It has been fun getting to know you over the years, and I wish you best luck in whatever you decide to do next. Hey, Bob. Just wanted to say thanks for all your support of the arts and all of our athletics and activities all through the years. Um, it's been so great to see you at all of our concerts. And just remember that Bulldogs, Bulldogs are the best. Thank you, Mr. Hewitt, for being a supporter of the softball team and always being there for us. And thank you! <laughs> now for Bulldog sports and announcements. The softball team completed their season on Monday, May 21st. The tough loss to Royalton, 5-9. Congratulations to the following athletes for advancing to the section track meet next Wednesday at St. John's University. 4x2 relay, Jacqueline Heft, Aubrey Spanier, Bryn Johnson, and Sammy Peterson. The 400, Jake Arnold. The 800, Aubrey Spanier and Jake Arnold. The 200, Bryn Johnson. The 2-mile, Preston Carlson and Macy Carlson. Long jump, Sammy Peterson and Josh Kranz. Triple jump, Sammy Peterson, and pole vault, Jacqueline Hepp. Congratulations. Baseball is now 13-3, and, and they are playing at the Section Baseball Tournament on Saturday, May 26th, at home. They play at 11. If they win, they play again at 3. Good luck to the team. BNC TV is looking into expanding our Bulldog Sports live streaming to volleyball and football next fall. Please see Matt in the Community Education Office if you are interested in finding out more information. And here are the announcements for the week. Just a reminder that all library books are due. Return them or you will have to pay for them. Good morning, Painesville. This is episode four of the school year. I'm glad you're watching. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm trying, okay? <laughs> okay, are we ready? <laughs> Torrent, tor Inter mm -hmm. It's okay, I said Brie and CTV, so. <laughs> On Monday, February 22nd. Uh. Morning, Painsville. My name is Jordan Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this one too. Bulldog fifth grade bat. Uh, sorry. Integrate. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Jacob Bertram. And I'm Brianna Gilmore. Good morning, Painsville. This is episode one of the new school year. Welcome back. Painsville Studio is recorded in front of a live audience. Hi, Zach. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Bree didn't say anything with me. The cumate. The kites are over. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and from all of us at BNC News, have a great summer, stay cool, Painsville, and go Bulldogs! Congratulations to the class of 2018. We wish you each a... <laughs> Should I say hi, I'm Jacob Bertram yeah. again? And welcome to our final episode... <laughs> final one, only one. One more.